As a stylist, I've been lucky enough in my career to travel the planet. Through my travels, I met some interesting people, seen some amazing places, and found inspiration all along the way. Join me as I make new friends, seek out inspiration, and leave a trail of hair behind. I'm Colin Caruso, and this is Style Trip. In today's episode, we travel to North County in Carlsbad, California, a community known for its laid-back lifestyle, pristine beaches, and of course, the Kelly Cardenas Salon. This salon is run by husband and wife power couple, Brooklyn and Kelly Cardenas. Kelly is not only a multi-location salon owner, he's a published author, international platform artist, and motivational speaker. My first stop brings me to Better Buzz Coffee in Encinitas, California, where I'm going to catch up with lead trainer Dane Stewart Dish to hear what the buzz is all about while we wait for Kelly himself to pull through. So how did it all start? We started with a push cart in Mira Mesa. Wow. In this day and age, uh, you know, you can throw a rock and hit a good cup of coffee. Huh? So it's really that customer service, that interaction, that level of comfort, like you're stepping into a home rather than you're stepping into a business that just wants your money. So the big question I have for you, how many coffees do you drink a day? I mean, it usually starts when I wake up and it ends about two hours before bed, so. <laughs> right on. That's how you roll up, dude. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, man? How you doing? Man? Welcome to Carlsbad. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You see why I love this place? Here, uh, <laughs> kombucha, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's funny, we meet at a coffee place, right? But neither one of us drink coffee. No. I like the smell of it. I like coffee ice cream, but the only reason why I come here is because I want to keep my marriage intact. Explain. <laughs> this is my wife's favorite coffee place. And so I wake up in the morning. Um, I've been here as early as 5.30 in the morning. I get up before she gets up and then I get her coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and it keeps my marriage uh, uh, in line and stable. And that's the key to success, <laughs> man. And you've always been like that. Oh, you were on a different level when we started. Like you were crushing, going all over the place. And you're one of the main people that inspired me to really want to pursue hair at a high level. And I think the one thing I've known about you forever is that you always put other people first. And that's always been like a key to success for you, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the biggest thing is, uh, you know, learn that from my mom and dad. My mom, uh, especially, my mom always put everybody first. She made sure that everybody ate before she ate. Wow. So they always put other people first. And I think that when you do that, Success is eminent. You uh, have salons, how many? Five different locations. We have five different locations and we're coaching two more right now. So we got seven in the network. Wow. We got about 85 people in the, um, in the family. What draws you to this community in particular? When we got here, within 45 minutes, I met more people in my neighborhood than I knew in 12 years, or actually 14 years of living in Vegas. I can feel that already. It's infectious here and I'm excited to take this journey with you. What's it like living here? Where do you draw inspiration and what are we gonna do today on our journey? I think the know? biggest uh, point of inspiration is like is PCH like when you drive down PCH it's the biggest attitude adjuster that you could ever have so you'll drive through a little unincorporated town which we're gonna take you through Lucadia there's a beach and you'll see that and then we'll go into Carlsbad I want to take you to lunch at Fish 101 they've got all the coolest surfers they got the coolest uh, culture within another one we're gonna I want to take you to is uh, we're actually camping me and my family are camping right now well, I want to take you to the campground. So you see that, man? Um, <laughs> but the, the last thing that I do want to show you is the whole reason why we're he here, as far as us in Carlsbad, is, is our salon here. I'm excited to see what makes you tick. And you know how important community is to you? You don't have a business life and a personal life. It's true. You just have life. And I'm really excited to see kind of what, what that is. And I'm excited for everyone else to get to see what that is. Let's get in it and see what's up. Sounds good, man. Right on. So this is PCH. Uh, this is the ultimate attitude adjuster for any person. I ride this on my bike a lot. And when you get on this road, everything just goes away. And you know, for us, we're actually camping. I mean, probably three quarters of a mile to a mile away from our house. And we're actually going to the campus spot where we've got for a week, which is right across the street from our house. 
Now that the caffeine levels are high and my mindset is officially PCH adjusted, it's time to hit the campground where Paul Mitchell Artistic Director Heather Kaanoi is already talking hair and kicking it campside with the amazingly talented Brooklyn Cardenius and family. I've always admired Brooklyn and Kelly for their ability to be partners in both life and business. Perhaps no couple can better exemplify the true art of running a successful family business than these guys. It's been so you guys nice hang out. all morning out here. Carlsbad Camp, man. Camp Cardenius yeah. over here. Pretty beautiful. I recognize you two from Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Mind Frame Monday. Monday and Thought Process Thursday, right, buddy? Yeah. yeah. Maddox Mondays. Maddox Mondays. Well, it's Tuesday, so what do we do on Tuesdays? Fish 101. <laughs> Fish Taco Tuesdays. Yes. It's going to yes. be good. Let's hop on bikes and I'll take you on a true tour uh, on the way to the salon and how we do it here in Carlsbad. I love it, man. Yeah? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Riding your bike from the beach to work pretty much sums up the lifestyle here in Carlsbad. With sunny, beautiful weather all year round, why not take the scenic route? Salon has a culture of hairdressers that deliver five-star service without the ego. Each team member supports the mission that everyone who experiences this environment should be treated like an A-list celebrity. The salon has become the industry standard for service, consistency, and up-to-the-minute techniques that are sure to make every guest happy. It's time to head to our next inspirational stop, a well-known local favorite, Fish 101. How are you? How are we doing, buddy? Good Thanks. to see you, man. How are you Thank doing? Thank you so much for having us, too, yeah. man. We got you all dialed in. I got you know what you want. Perfect. Go. So are we out back then? Out back. Perfect, got man. It. Thank yeah. you so Good much. Good to see you. Salut. Salut, brother. Man. Fish 101, man. So tell me about it. Well, when we first came here, I was blown away by the quality of the food. Mm -hmm. But then I started to notice all the little nuances. The, the way that the culture was and how everybody wanted to be a part of them. It's almost a community and a culture. And I started to just key into that part of it and it just completely inspired me in every uh, single thing that they did. I can tell, dude, from walking in the door, I mean, obviously it wasn't even easy to get in here. And the service is no, phenomenal. Hey guys, these are the Puddle House style. That one's for this tacos. guy. Fish, awesome. Fish plate, salad, and brown rice. Yes, sir. Awesome, Thank you so much. After chowing down on the best fish taco ever, it's time to head back to Camp Cardenia's and meet up with Brooklyn, Heather, and the rest of the Cardenia's clan to talk inspiration for tomorrow's models. Good to see y'all again. Put this bad boy up yeah. and keep yeah. adding. Yeah. You better, you better step back with all that. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous. Woo! So dude, what a day, man. Great way ending it with you guys. I love seeing you all back here again. I loved Better Buzz, dude, super cool. Bike ride, I mean, obviously the one thing that's always present, sun, 270 days out of the year. 365. 365, <laughs> my bad. Let's chat now, because we got work to do tomorrow, right? One of our first models is uh, a guy named Tim. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I met this dude 20 years ago. He doesn't remember me. But he's in a super famous band, Grammy Award winning band Switchfoot. I mean, Tim is out surfing here every single day with his son. His son's gonna be there tomorrow. And for me, hair has always been just a median to be able to connect with people. Right on. Um, you know, Stephanie Kachelski said to me one time that there's not a piece of hair that's not connected to a head, that's not connected to a body, that's not connected to a soul. And if you can touch the soul, you can do anything. And I believe that that's what our whole company is about. Now you're gonna be coloring, right? Yeah, I'm so excited. And you're an amazing colorist. I've known that forever. But tell me a little bit about your model, uh, Kayla, right? Let's come in. What's her story? You know, what are we gonna do with her? How are we gonna pull today's inspiration into Kayla? Yeah, walking through the city, you see so many different textures and so many different types of people. And what I really love and I'm inspired by is that they embrace their natural texture and then it's not so done. And that is what I'm super inspired by because her herself, she's um, a, young, a young girl um, and she's just got into surfing. So we want to be able to give her what the sun typically would have done and give her some like beachy blondes and not like overdone, but just kind of lived in. And also just give her some texture and yeah. to be able to like give her a, like a little lived in texture for her. So I say in true Kelly Cardenas salon fashion, Let's also show her how to do her own hair. 
I think it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for us, but why not? You know, a lot of times that's the reality, right? The best business card that we can ever have is a guest that knows how to do their own hair. Yep. And that teaching artistry, I think, is the most important. That's the wood for the fire, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're inspired and on the same page, it's time to meet Tim and Kayla and get some hands into hair. Yeah, Kelly, what's up? How are you doing, buddy? Good, man. It's good to see how you. Good to see you, too. How are you doing, Jet? Good, how are you doing? Good to see you, bud. Good to see you, too. Thank you so much for coming through. Yeah, thanks I for having it. us. We're going to uh, cut you short bangs today, too, yes? Right Enjoy across it. the top here. <laughs> Come on back with me this way. Just guys. make Let's me look like back. him, you know? Sounds good. Hey, Colin, get over here, man. Yo, you got to meet up? Tim. What's up, Tim? One Heard of the biggest that, rock running? stars in the world. Hey, man. So cool, cool, cool. We got a chance to be able to talk. I was telling you about Tim's hair. Uh, the main thing is not about changing his length. It's about changing his texture. I mean, this guy has uh, more hair than most of uh, my whole neighborhood <laughs> combined on one head. And so we cut the length about two weeks ago. And so now it's all about texture. We wanted to do that today, and then the following time when he comes in, we're gonna go back to taking away a little bit of length, and then a little bit of texture, and then a little bit of length. So that way we customize it to exactly who he is, as opposed to just doing the same thing over and over again. Right on, man. And what I love about this is you're always thinking not just about this visit, you're thinking about the next visit, always planning ahead, man, I love that. Absolutely. Good stuff, man, get to work. The Kelly Cardinia Salon is known for the above and beyond shampoo experience. Their belief system is, if you don't agree you receive the best shampoo ever, then your service is free. So Tim, tell me about that uh, shampoo experience. How was it? Epic. <laughs> Epic? So good. Short and sweet, I love it. So you guys did your job there, now we're getting into the haircut. Um, tell me what you're gonna do again. Let's, let's get this started. So I think the, uh, the biggest thing is uh, the tools that we're gonna work with. So I'm working with the 20% texturizers. That's one of our signature tools. Um, it's gonna take away 20% of the hair. So that way I'm gonna go in and take weight out as opposed to length. Right on. Um, so I wanna start here in the back edge and then we'll work up. And what I wanna do is I wanna work inside the texture as opposed to working on the outsides, which will just basically change the way his hair moves and keep him rock star all the time as opposed to looking like a four year old who just got his hair cut. So Tim, with the coarser texture of hair like yours, we're gonna use a heavier wax-based product. We're gonna use the dry wax from Paul Mitchell. Uh, we're gonna give you two different options. One, we're gonna wrap it around with a, a brush on your uh, head with the blow dryer. Second option, we're gonna simply put the product in, put a beanie on, bang, you're done. That's my style, I like it. Real quick, uh, recap the style for us really quick, what you're doing with the blow dryer and everything else. Well, we wrapped it around one uh, way on his head and then wrapped it around the other and just basically chased ourselves. I think the biggest thing with the, uh, a heavy wax on your texture of hair, Tim, when we apply it wet, you gotta make sure that you don't apply too much of it. So you gotta be conscious of that. So you gave him a complete haircut mostly by removing the weight because of the coarseness of his hair, chose the right product based on the texture of his hair, which is really, really important, and showed him how to do it himself, man. Really good, brother. Thank you. This is my favorite part, Brooklyn. We are ready to color some hair. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me not everybody in California is born blonde. It's true, not everybody's <laughs> born blonde. <laughs> so we gotta help some people. Absolutely. So let's tell me about what you're gonna do today. How are you gonna go about this? Well, this is Kayla. She's my beautiful guest. And um, she's a beginning surfer, but she wants to be a little more pro surfer-like, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So Kayla, how can we make you happy today? I'm thinking of just lighting, lightening it up a little bit around the frame of my face, kind of like a sun-kissed look, but like low maintenance. So something that can grow out and feel a little beachy, a little blonde, um, but also be able to, li to be able to look lived in as it grows out. Definitely. Yeah, okay, great. So um, your technique today, what are you gonna do? I mean, I, we got the consult, right? We know that she wants to be a little lived in, and I love how you asked her about her maintenance. That's really huge, right? We wanna make sure that not only does it look good once, it looks good a couple weeks from now. What technique are you gonna be going about today? What I'm really gonna focus on is exactly where the sun would hit. To help Kayla achieve a sun-kissed natural highlight, Brooklyn is going to focus on the hairline. She's going to avoid placing lightener at the top of the head and focus on placing her color more along the interior to give the hair more of a lived-in feel and a softer grow out. Brooklyn is blending two looks together when it comes to color by weaving and placing some pieces in a foil. She's getting consistency and brightness around the hairline. By hand painting some pieces outside of the foil, she's creating the lived-in texture normally created by the sun and salt water. So, we're ready, we're back in. 
Yes, so we're beachy and blonde. We kept our highlights off the base at the top. And we hand painted a little on the outside. That way it really feels sun kissed. It looks like the sun did it. It doesn't look like we went in and did a ton of foils. But even though we did a lot of work um, to get it to be that way, it looks absolutely effortless. Uh, what do you think, Kayla? How do you feel? I love it. I'm really excited about it. You look beautiful. Beautiful job. Beautiful technique. So now we're gonna start talking a little bit more. We know we're styled, we're blow dry, but we're not really officially styled, right? Mm -hmm. We're a little more lived in texture in here. It's in with the color, now let's create with product. We got the best in the world coming in. Heather Kaanoi, no better person here to work her magic. You guys are gonna work together. The objective is, is to make sure that it looks very relaxed, undone, kind of just like a lived in, like it, the curl was done yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and use um, a smoothing iron. Um, and the key is to make sure it has those nice beveled edges. That way we can get a nice wave out of it. So I'm gonna take a big section and you're gonna do the other side. So go ahead and take a good look. And the key is, is when you go in, make sure that the barrel is pointing down. Then you're gonna go ahead and close and then turn. And then I like to just hold on to the end uh, as it kind of just guides through and not just go to the ends, go through the ends. And then you can see how that just leaves you just like a nice little wave. And you see it's just one fluid movement Brooklyn makes. So that's gonna keep a very nice consistent type of wave pattern for you. All right. So by switching it very back and forth and back and forth, it gives them more of like emotions of the ocean um, as opposed to like a really tight curl. So it just gives it that opposing factor. So run um, away from your face and then the next one towards your face. You ready? I think so, yeah. Okay, so don't forget, we're gonna do a little bit of spray before, give it a little bit of texture spray, and then make sure that the barrel's down, and then just one turn, and then go all the way through the ends. Sounds good. Okay. Perfect, all the way through the ends, yes. Just hold that end, and take it all, not just to the ends, all the way through. Oh, Very wow, nice. look at that. that. looks great. Yeah. Beautiful look. Now, as a finisher, sometimes it's great to change up our delivery system. We typically go in a, a light hairspray to hold in our look. We're gonna go in with one of the weightless creams, our Cloud Whip from Invisible Wear. It's a nice weightless cream that's just gonna help to give a clean definition, a lightweight hold, and that's just gonna really isolate and piece out all of those beautiful layers and that type of wave texture that was just created through your iron work here. Looks amazing. Kayla, what side did you do and what side did they do? I don't even know, you did such a good job. Absolutely beautiful, it's lived in, it's refined, it's all the things that we're walking around, all the things we're inspired by as we're here hanging out with you guys, this really does encapsulate you are California blonde surfer girl but still beautiful and and taken care of enough to go out and find dine and wine and do all the amazing things we have here so I say we guess we go uh, take some pictures and see uh, see this in stills it looks beautiful on this episode of style trip we got buzzed at better buzz drove through town in the 63 Impala ate the freshest fish tacos at fish 101 and most importantly, spent some quality time with an amazing family who succeeds in life by always putting others first. 